Here's the spoiler free video review for The Hunt. I'm Bleeding Critic. Don't confuse this movie with the Danish drama The Hunt from 2012 with Mads Mikkelsen. Dropped from the Blumhouse conveyor belt, this film's overall idea is actually very good. Different versions have been done before, but does this movie provide something fresh and exciting? The Hunt has several creative moments that's equal to only a few minutes of interest. This film is intended to be a horror thriller. However, the bulk of this movie is, yeah, predictable cheap thrills. But serious horror this ain't. This is fast food gentle horror at its worst. Its creative perspective isn't fresh or exciting. Here's the thing. Last night I re-watched Alien Covenant and in that movie when the horror and fear kicks in, it's unforgettable, uncomfortable and believable. It feels real. It is horrifying. It's authentic and emotionally involving. That film has got character depth and is engaging. It takes you on a journey away from reality. The Hunt is a movie that would even insult the intelligence of teenagers. Blumhouse has produced fantastic films like Paranormal Activity, Get Out and the original The Purge. It's also pumped out absolute trash and The Hunt crashes into the garbage. The two writers for The Hunt should have knocked the story out of the park. This film had the potential to be something special, something unique. All they had to do is take their emotional and immersive lead from films like The Game starring Sean Penn and Michael Douglas then they can take the creative lead from the old school rock star game, Manhunt. The inspiration from other great films is there, but no, they didn't bother taking inspiration from the best. This film's got zero depth of character. You know what, there was no believable desperation from the characters that were being hunted. This film is not an enjoyable ride. What's so depressing is that Oscar winner Hilary Swank is in the movie. Even her talent can't save this waste of money. There's hundreds of people out there that are horror creative. Some of them I've collaborated with on my YouTube channel. So with all that talent available to tap into, it amazes me how the two writers attached to the hunt seem to have no clue about building tension or to create work that is clever, thoughtful and most importantly, horrifying. I read that this film is meant to be a controversial, satirical, social thriller. No, 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 it doesn't work. It's totally misfired. Now, if The Hunt was made to be horror serious, made with a similar vibe to the Hostel films, then The Hunt would have been worth watching. Now, here's the kick to the balls. The director for The Hunt wrote and directed the incredibly disturbing Compliance, which is genuinely brilliant. I reviewed it years ago. This guy is seriously talented. I recently watched a Spanish film called The Occupant. It's not billed as a horror film, but it's disturbing and beautifully filmed and utterly unforgettable. Now that's the vibe of movies Craig deserves to direct, not this. You see, there's so much wonderful filmed work out there, but unfortunately, absolute shit is also fighting to get your attention. You gotta know I'm here so you don't waste your time on predictable fast food horror. I will shake you like a rag doll until you wake up from the fast food horror you've been fed. You see, you deserve a better horror standard. There's so many films to choose from and I'll save you wasting time by pointing out the films that you must see and calling out the films you need to avoid. Now here's the trailer for my interactive horror platform. This is William Friedkin. Don't panic. If your screen starts to bleed, you are about to witness bleeding critic. I'm the anonymous horror film critic, the creator and narrator of immersive scary stories. BleedingCritic.com is the interactive horror platform where horror fans have a voice and are actually seen. Horror Memories, this is where you talk about that moment from any film that really damaged you. And there's more interaction for you with Horror Therapy. Share that moment from your real life where something scared or terrified you. 
I like short horror films, especially ones that don't get the attention they deserve. So if you've made a short horror film, send it to me. I'll even add a special filmed introduction. You can watch the short horror films I've chosen right now. On to my horror content. Scary Stories UK is my YouTube channel, so all my YouTube videos are here as well. And they will freeze your spine. Check out my interviews and photo galleries. And watch my spoiler free film reviews. And when you see any of the films I've reviewed, you can add your own rating. Follow me across social media. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Scary Stories UK. Follow and interact with me on Twitter, at Bleeding Critic, and on Instagram. Do a bit of retail therapy with clown merch. There's five designs of my face splattered over 50 different products. And Patreon is a way you can support my interactive horror platform and my YouTube channel from as little as $5 a month. During the time you've watched this video, I've scuttled along your ear canal into your skull and I ain't leaving.